Oh no, I don't ever do recordings, so I don't know. Alright, okay. So, have you ever done. Am I gonna hear my little voice? Huh? My little voice? I guess so. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I hate my voice. I don't know, don't you? Your voice is nice. No, don't worry. Um, so, when we go into meditation, it's always good to have cross legs. Um, and the same when we do energy work, the idea is to always keep your energy open, right? Only when you find that you're in a place you don't feel safe or you need to close off one energy channel, you're going to put your thumb to your fourth finger and you close it. Hmm. At the bottom. Touch it? No, down. Here. The base of the finger. Right? Close. Right? The same with that one. That's if you want to work with one energy channel. So there's three main ones. We have a center channel where we have our energy from. Then we have something to manage our left and then something to manage our right. Right? So we have three main channels of energy in our body. Does that make sense? Nothing complicated, that's it, yeah? Um for this, I'm going to do, it's a Chinese spiritual meditation. It's a Taoist, right? Chinese spiritual practice. Um, and this is going to be a practice you can add. It's for the organs, right? So it's according to this CNT, right? But I think it'll be good because if you can do it at home, then you can practice more and you can heal your different organs of your body or recharge the energy, right? Like I said to you before, when we first started this, that the idea of this practice is we have negative energy in our body and a lot of the practices are we just want to take it and get rid of it, right? But this belief system is that we take the negative energy and we convert it into more positive. So then you have a lot more abundance of positive energy rather than just a little bit of positive and the void of the negative being removed. So I quite like that, right? Because it's like the negative has always come into our life to serve as a lesson, as a teaching, and we really do look at it as a bad thing. But I always think in disguise, it's a really good thing. So if we can take that and harness it into positive energy, I think that's good, yeah? Okay, so in this practice, there's five major organs of the body our lungs do you know where the lungs are here yeah perfect we have our liver on your right hand side so your right hand side under the rib cage and just below so if you think where your breast is you put your hand there yeah liver is about a 1.4 kilogram piece of meat so it's really big in our body on our other side we we'll have our spleen, our stomach, our pancreas. Let me go back. So in Chinese medicine, organs are married. So our lungs are married to our large intestine. Our liver is married to our gallbladder, which is just behind it. Then we have a trio over here, your stomach, your spleen, and your pancreas. Then you have your heart. Your heart is married to your small intestines, intestine, and then your back is where your kidneys reside, which is married to your bladder, right? So usually when there's a problem with one, there's an imbalance in the other, right? So it all works together. So this meditation is to do five different sounds, or six healing sounds, but the healing sounds to work on each organ, right? We'll do it each three times. And then at the end of a set of working on one organ, then you're gonna use your hands and you're gonna place them on the organ. And then I want you to use your practices of sending energy and healing into your body parts, okay? Or your respective body part, right? So I'm gonna just show you first. So the first one for the lungs is you're gonna breathe in all right and the sound we're going to make is uh, 
So I use it like the sound of a snake is the best way to explain it. Perfect, right? So I'm just showing you that. The next one is going to be for the liver. And the sound is like telling someone to be quiet. It's shh. Right? So I like to take my hands in. I interlace them. I turn them up to face the sky. So my palms are facing the sky. And then I bend to the right. That's your left, yeah? Bend to the right. And shh. All right. Same thing. So we go the other way around. Uh, we won't lift the arms up. But the stomach is a weird sounding one. It's like, I think it's the sound of someone vomiting or like the sound of an evil character. It's <laughs> Right? What I like to do is under your rib cage, you're gonna stick two fingers in and you're literally gonna put it into your body part. So literally poking your stomach. It's gonna be on the side, that's your liver, yeah. Just sort of, just there. And I call it like a chi knife. You're cutting with your fingers. You need to imagine with energy work that you're sending beaming and energy through your fingers. And when you're making that sound, you're sending that sound of healing to the organ, right? So, right? Yeah. But do the energy that way, not at me directly, right? That's right. So. Then the next one for the heart, we'll do the up, okay, and then we go to the left, because the heart is more on the left hand side of the body, so you'll go that way. And the sound of the heart is like saying ha, so if you want to imagine H-A, ha 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 ha, but the sound is ha, maybe you feel like a sigh of relief or like first time you can breathe or doing a long exhale you're just all right then the last one for the kidneys is the sound of when you're blowing out a candle so I go right and when I do the kidneys I like to stretch them out so I go out when I go in then I go when I start to sort of put my forehead to the floor as much as possible, but not to fall over, right? The importance of your posture is to try and always be straight, um, feet connected to the floor. In practice, they say you can sit like this, but I used to think cross-legged is good because you're more connected with the earth, right? Make sense? So we're gonna do each one three times, right? So you're gonna follow me. So we'll start with, so yeah, I just start like that. But the idea is that you now need to get more into like a calm, concentrated space, right? So if you want to close your eyes for a minute or two, you're going to focus in on your breath. And we take nice, slow breaths in through the nose and out through the nose as well. So we can say maybe take six slow counts through the nose and then six slow counts out through the nose. And when you are breathing in, remember to expand your stomach or your belly. So like I was saying to you earlier, the same as like imagining your belly's becoming pregnant. Any bigger? No. Because everyone breathes through the chest, which is incorrect. They go, but then you, and when you breathe out, the stomach will then come back in. So almost like blowing up a balloon and then letting out the air of the balloon. So is that all breathing? Mm-hmm. So when we go in through the nose, imagine there's not not right. 
Okay, so now we're going to bring our palms up sort of to the level of the nipple, right? Try and maintain a straight back if you can. Otherwise, you can put the chair behind you. So do you want the chair behind you? Just to bring it. Or do you want to sit on the chair? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, just again, I'm going to demonstrate, just... So we want to push our palms to the sky. So we breathe out. Yes. Like that, okay? So let's go, nice deep breath. Straight posture. Okay, and go. Not yet. This one is for no, this no, one. With this, do I have to do? Yeah. Yeah. But don't direct it at oh, me. Oh, yes, right. Yeah. Right. Direct the energy elsewhere, right? So, and your hands, you want to go slow. But not so high. Yeah, no, it's high is fine, it's but slow. Go okay. with your breath. Because it's, you try, if you do this, you're going to empty out your lungs too quickly when you could maximize okay. the efficiency yeah. of the breath. Yeah. So again. Now we do the last one. Hands on your lungs and tip up. Yeah. And close your eyes and now I want you to do your energy healing on yourself just for a few maybe 30 seconds. Visualize healing. So yeah, I would like you to visualize your hands warming and you consciously saying from your mind that you're sending energy, love and healing light into your lungs white healing light in this context feel your heat in your hands increase my hands are pretty hot good and i like you to smile at the same time nice gentle smile <laughs> yeah. And when you do this practice at home, you can sit with it longer and your hands might change in temperature. You might feel intuitively that it's enough for that session. And then you disconnect, right? And we bring our palms back to the tip of our knees, to the tops of our knees. Yeah? So no sound? No, no sound, right? Now we're going to move on to the next organ, the liver. So this one, like I said, we interlace our hands. We're going to come up and we're going to do the sound of telling someone to be quiet. You're going onto your right side, so it's going to be that side. Just in, bring it up, turn to the side. Yeah, but I'm going that side because that's my right. Yeah, so start from the beginning. Breathe in and and again. Why is it? I'm doing this for 
Hmm? Well, I need to look. Eyes open. Doesn't well. have to be now. You can keep your eyes closed open, but you obviously open now because it's your first time learning. And you're going to take your hands together, like making a wall. No, same, facing the same. You need to bring it on your right side. So place it under your breast, under your breast. That's not your breast, that's the bottom of your side. You're here, come up. So put your hand on your boob and just drop it just under your boob, right? Then put another palm up, that's perfect, right? Close your eyes and send some healing light. And this light represents the living so in Chinese medicine, the color is green. Imagine like an emerald green. So imagine in the palms of your hands is like an orb of powerful healing energy that's blossoming emerald green. And any blockages or any stagnation, you're just lasering through. And converting everything into positive healing energy. Okay, then we're going to open up our eyes and come back here. We're going to interlace our fingers again. We're doing the heart, so we're going to say, ah. right? So exactly what we've just done, except now we go to the left. So that's going to be that side for you, okay? So when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in. And... If you feel like your sound needs to be a lot deeper and more divulging, you need to get something out, do it. Feel okay. what feels right, yeah? <coughs> Sometimes you might feel the need to cough, sneeze or shake, that's okay, good. Last one. If you split your body here, it's situated towards on the left, so that side for you. Yeah, so what you can do is just put two hands, yeah. Just throw that hand up, yeah, that's good. Bring that hand up, up. I said up, not left, just up. Just literally, just up like that, yeah? And then bring the other one down, okay? Close your eyes for a few seconds. Now the heart is representative of fire, so be thinking red, powerful red, deep red color. So you've just had a gurgle in your belly, so that's a good sign, because it's linked to your small intestine, so you've just done some energy work, right? And we're thinking of the emotions of love and joy, fun energy. power of love, the highest frequency in the world. And remember to smile. Stop changing. Okay. We're going to move on to the next one, which is the stomach and spleen and pancreas. So like I said, this is on your left hand side. We're going to do a chi knife, two fingers on both hands, and we're going to basically flip them inside. Then you're going to lean forward and then make your sound like... Just maybe the sound is... I explained like the sound of disgust. You're just like... Ugh. I want to say, is that actually out as well? I guess um, so, yeah. Do, is this right? Yeah, that's good. As long as it's just under the ribs, right? Yeah, inside this meat, you think? Yeah, perfect. So like, just to explain it, this is my ribs here. I'm putting the fingers in and then going just under the rib, yeah? So we want to, we won't go very deep, of course, but just try to go under the rib. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so nice deep breath in. You're not on me yet. Again. 
Last one. So these organs are representative of earth. So the colour is like a bright yellow and I imagine the colour of the sun beaming light so powerful and can bring such change in your life. Because I think about when we live in the UK how dark the winters can be but as soon as the sun comes out it's like wow, the world changes. And that's the kind of power and energy and healing that can come from these organs. Digestion, you know, bringing the energy into the body. It's a very fundamental organ, organs. Remember to smile. And even if you feel the need to laugh, that's good because that's also an energy healing of different kind. Try to keep your head up if you do your meditation. You need to keep a straight line connecting from the sky all the way down to the earth with your feet. Right, and then we let go. Then we're going to move on to the kidneys. So like I say, we take our hands, we place them flat on our backs. Yeah, it's perfect. No. Just like that, yeah? Okay. And the sound is like you're blowing out a candle. Right. So, take a nice deep breath in. Remember to bend forward as you exhale. Okay? Yes, please. Um. Mm -hmm. No whistles? You can, it's fine. One. And keep your hands there. And now the kidneys are representative of the water element. So the color is blue. I like to imagine a dark royal navy blue. It's a very powerful colour. I think of water. So I imagine streams of water just trickling through land. And it makes me feel like the energy of flowing and movement. Does it have to be dark? No, that's, uh -huh. if you want to have a light colour, you can. It's just what I resonate with, you know, the colour I'm wearing. I love blue. I think it's kind of healing. Remember to smile. And think about that blue energy coming through the palms of your hands. Just going into the organs. Because kidneys are two in a pair, thumbs are two in a pair. It's one heart, it's one liver. Okay, then we raise. And then the last one to balance out the energies, I'll show you the action or the motion. 
we breathe in and then when we start to come down like this for your triple heater we have a point here a point here and a point here we can control our temperature in our home room so we want to just bring calm and ground into it so it will help ground you as well but you use the word like a settle e or you can use the word he like he is a man I just go and again don't go fast go slowly and when you become more in tune with your energy work you will feel literally like you are pressing against something that there's resistance with the energy I'm just trying to bring it down softly yeah okay we just do one of these okay nice to put in Above your head and down. And then you just put your hands back. And then you keep your eyes closed. And just embodying thoughts of gratitude and peace and grounding, feeling calm and centered, because this is what the meditation has done. It's creating a communication between all your major organs that need each other to do all the functions in order to survive. And then I think this feeling that you're embodying now, this is what you can drop back into when you feel that things are stressful, when you feel that things are going too fast, or you feel triggered in a situation and you feel very emotionally evoked, then you just come back to the feeling of this because you now understand the frequency of it. And if you still need to step out from the room or the situation just to try and find that center, that's perfectly acceptable. All right, and then we've got hands together by our heart. Then last deep breath in and out. And that's it, that marks the meditation.